Good morning, Manuel. I want to say thank you first for those of you who have sent emails to the church staff. I know we appreciate this. your encouraging words to us, and we hope you're encouraged just to hear a little bit of what's going on in the life of our church family through these daily updates. Um, I want to share one exciting piece of news with you that maybe you haven't heard yet, and that is that Alex Yakushin has just completed her uh, Doctor of Philosophy in Kinesiology, so she now has her PhD, and we just wanted to congratulate Alex, uh, and I want to encourage you to be praying for her as well. Uh, her plans that were in place were that she was going to be doing her postdoctoral work at uh, uh, Northwestern University, so I'm having to look just to make sure I get the information right. Um, and of course, with things going on right now, that's uh, a little bit uh, uncertain, and so please be praying for Alex, but Alex, we are so proud of you, and uh, just trust the Lord's best for these next steps. Uh, I also wanted to pass along uh, a, a movie tip. I don't often do this, uh, probably you won't hear too many of these, but uh, if you've seen the link that came out for watch.redeemtv.com, and you were to go there so you can set up a free account right now, there's a neat movie Lynn and I watched the other night called For the Glory, The True Story of Kurt Kuykendall, and uh, just a, a a good movie. I think you would enjoy it. Probably most of uh, your families would enjoy it. Maybe just kind of double check on kind of ages for kids, but uh, a great encouraging story that uh, we would just want to pass on to you. Um, I do want to just share though a thought from God's Word out of Psalm 27. This is the passage Lynn and I have been in uh, a little bit recently, but uh, the part that I haven't memorized that I will admit I've read ahead on uh, comes near the end where David says in verse 11, Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have arisen against me. They breathe out violence. I believe I shall look on the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage and wait for the Lord. I'm amazed that David even thinks to go there in this prayer, in this psalm, when he's clearly struggling with with conflict, with difficulty, at the first, the first half of the prayer he speaks of the enemies that have come against him. And then in verse 11 he makes this incredible statement, Teach me your way, O Lord. I guess I'm amazed for a couple reasons. I'm not sure it's my default thought that when I'm going through trials that I, I'm asking the Lord to continue to teach me. Usually I'm asking him to deliver me or save me. But I've just been encouraged by that thought that we would be a people who would continue to seek that the Lord would teach us and then I guess the second thought that comes out of that is just the awareness that it's one thing to learn in a classroom. You learn information, you gain knowledge, it's important, but really the, the learning comes as we apply that in the realm of life. So on Sunday morning, hopefully we gather as a church family to, to learn about God and learn about faith. But then the challenge for us is with the rest of our week to go out and apply that and to live that. So I've just been thinking myself as I've been reading through Psalm 27, and, and just considering this prayer of David, as I think of that verse, teach me your way, O Lord, that I would, that I would begin to look at how I can apply my faith throughout the course of what we're encountering now, as I try to encourage my family, as I try to uh, do my best to live out my faith, that I would be certainly coming to God's word, learning from it, and then going about applying it as best I can. And I want to just challenge you in the same way. Are there things that you have learned about God that now you need to apply in the course of your life? I'm going to pray for you. And behind me, I think you can see our hospital. And so just a good reminder that we're going to pray for those involved in the medical field as well. Father, thank you that you have taught us wonderful things in your word. We know your word is there. It's true and alive and active. And so, Father, as we think of all the things we have learned about you in your word, of who you are, of what your character is like. Father, would you now help us to learn to walk in those truths, that we would live out what we have learned? Father, I think of the many ways we can do that in, in our marriages, in our families. Father, it's one thing to say we believe in the, the value of family, another thing to actually live that out in how we're going to love our kids and instruct them. It's one thing to say we believe in the importance and the sanctity of marriage. Another thing to self-sacrificially love our spouses. And so, Father, help us to live out our faith. I think of Alex today. I want to just thank you for her. Thank you for the completion of her PhD, even under difficult circumstances. Would you lead and bless her? And, Father, we're thinking of our medical personnel today as well, nurses, doctors, care aides, 
janitorial staff, all those who are serving in that way, we're asking that you just be their encouragement today. And for those who know you, would you give them the courage and compassion to live out their faith? We thank you, we love you, we pray this in Christ's name. Amen.